What is the first thing that pops into your head when you see this sculpture? Go. It's real. That's a real sculpture. Art. That, I, <laughs> it cost $10 million. You have to be kidding me. In the comments, keep it PG. Keep it PG. What is the first thing that popped in your head? All right. This is what art is supposed to do. It's supposed to elicit responses, right? You're, what do you see? What do you see? That's modern art. $10 million sitting in a major U.S. city. I can't make it up. <laughs> I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Seriously. Okay. All right. Take a break from the... You can cut this out. I, I literally can't believe this. I, I just... <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. When your wife asks you for input when you haven't been listening for 10 minutes. <laughs> Dude. I freaking love this meme. Oh, it's going so viral. I love it. It's, it hasn't gotten old yet. Boys, this is where you got to develop some of those generic responses that kind of cover everything. Like, um, this is where, like, you got to channel your inner politician. Speaking of politicians, say a lot of stuff without saying anything. Just fill the, the silence. Fill the silence with words. This is what Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris does. You know, she just says words. Word salad. And she can't get that mad at you, right? Me. No, babe. I don't need to write down a list. I'll remember it all. Also me, 30 seconds after walking into the grocery store. Another one. Another one. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, I love it. I just, I love when politicians get memed and make them, you know, look embarrassed. It just, I love it. Most Americans are a $400 unexpected expense away from bankruptcy. That's Bidenomics in action. <laughs> <laughs> Bidenomics, man, come on, man. Everyone, everything's hoity-toity. Everyone's living in prosperous unity. It's amazing. Bidenomics, man. When she stops explaining where it is and starts walking over to show you. Oh, again? This is it. <laughs> dude, dude, this is, I'm telling you, you guys, this is a thing, it's a universal thing, it is. What is your secret, ladies, huh? What's your secret? Otherwise, there'd be nobody to take care of them. <laughs> How did Bubbles get the Chiefs game? What's going on here, Bubs? Shouldn't you be up in Nova Scotia, buddy? Feeding them candies. Come on, man. How'd you get here? Bill Clinton goes night-night at the Giants game. Bill! Bill! Quick, there's an intern over here. Wake up, buddy. Wake up. Intern, 21 years old. Wake up, buddy. He'll snap up just like that. Do that if you want to wake up, Bill. How would you say your mental focus is? Oh, it's focused. <laughs> I say it's, I think it's I, I haven't look I have trouble even mentioning even saying to myself my own head the number of years I no more think of myself as being as old as I am than fly I mean it's just not uh, uh, I haven't observed anything in terms of there's not things I don't do now that I did before whether it's physical or mental or anything else that was a real answer by him and we still he's still there I don't know, how the hell is this going on still? Mark, how are you feeling out there? Uh, again, uh, the same way I felt about eight minutes ago when you asked me that same question, right? I normally do sports. Uh, everything is canceled here for the next couple of days. So what better time to ask the sports guy to come in about five hours normally uh, earlier than he would normally wake up, go stand out in the wind and the snow and the cold and tell other people not to do the same. <laughs> I didn't even realize that there was a 3.30 also in the morning uh, until today. It's absolutely uh, fantastic, Ryan. You know, I I'm used to these evening shows that are 
only 30 minutes long and generally on those shows I'm inside so uh, this is a really long show tune in for the next couple hours to watch me progressively get crankier and crankier <laughs> how do I get that uh, storm chaser 7 duty I, I feel like Clint got the uh, better end of that deal you know that thing's heated um, the outdoors currently is not heated well I'll tell you what Ryan I've, I've got good news and, and I've got bad news the, the good news is that I can still feel my face right now the bad news is I kind of wish I couldn't. Can I go back to my regular job? I, I'm pretty sure, Ryan, that you guys added an extra hour to this show just because <laughs> somebody likes torturing me because compared to two and a half hours ago, it is just getting colder and colder. Live in Waterloo for the last time this morning. Thankfully, I'm Mark Woodley, New 7 KWWL. <laughs> this poor bastard. Oh, man. That is a... Uh... An abusive work center. You're the sports guy. They don't even send the weather guy out. They send the sports guy. Dude, you need to find a new place to work at. What is this? ABC7? Is that what it is? ABC7? KWWL? Shame on you. Shame on you. You can't ever wear the same color as Her Majesty if there's a group event. But then you also shouldn't be wearing the same color as one of the other more senior members of the family. So I was like, well, what's a color that they'll probably never wear? Camel, beige, white. So I wore a lot of muted tones. But this lion liar. I want to say a lot more. What a liar. Like, dude, can we get over the Harry and Meghan chapter and see them for what they are? Pathological liars. She has him in a vice grip. Harry. Bro, I, I'm praying for you. I hope you find yourself because it is pathetic. Really pathetic. This lady's evil. She is. She's a liar. Zobaczymy, czy, jako pierwszy. czy też będzie Big Slam, czy Big Slap z jego strony. Oh, Nie wiem, yeah. czy różnica, ale... Oj, 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 Stop with these. This, this trend has to stop. That is not, that is not okay to laugh at. You can't... <laughs> what, what a tournament, by the way. It's like arm wrestling, but extreme, uh, you know, and it's everywhere. I see these clips everywhere now. Me after missing trash day for the first time this year. I fully own that I up. <laughs> I am as sorry as a man can be. And all I can do is take extreme ownership right now, be better and lead myself to a better life as a better human. This is you. If you miss trash day, don't miss trash day. Here's your reminder. If you're watching this, A, take out the trash. You don't want to forget that. You don't want to be this guy. And B, change the laundry over, and if it's sitting on your bed, go fold it. There's your reminder. Maria, how do you roll up a window? Like, do the action. Maria. How do you roll up a window? <laughs> Mom, how do you roll up a window? <laughs> 1984. <laughs> you know, this reminds me. You know, we got a little baby, and there's a toy that has a phone on it, like a, a old school phone. I was, I was thinking, like, she's probably never gonna come across one of those in her life. So, I don't know. It, this right here is another example. She's probably never gonna see a crank window ever. Sad. This thing does not go up inside you. Like, where does that go? Oh, oh nah, fam. They don't go inside you. Yeah, <laughs> they work though. You know what I'm saying? I tell you where they go is just. Get the feeling you're not interested. <laughs> hey, look at this. Someone with logic and reason explaining it to them in a, a monotone, positive tone. You know? Right. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to feed my fans. <laughs> dude, dude. I know you know who this is. <laughs> This reminds me of one of our cousins. <laughs> dude, that is cold, man. How do you not just die laughing when you see that in public, dude? A little kid on a leash like a <laughs> rabid dog trying to get off. <laughs> dude, if you have kids, though, you understand. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta leash them. Yep. Shoplifter walks right into police. Oh. What has he got? A uh, handful of goodies there. It's a pretty common thing in 2023. Ciao, kid. 
He's walking right out. <laughs> That's funny. Look at this. Uh-oh, I'm screwed. Come on. Come arrest his ass. What a loser. What a genuine loser. Ah, there it is. See you, bye. You love to see some sweet, sweet justice. These people going in there and just walking out with stuff. Finally, looks like in this clip, one of them gets in trouble, thankfully. Signs of wealth by year. 2020. You got some toilet paper? Yeah, that, you're wealthy if you had that. 2021. Yeah, everyone was rich. Everyone was, couldn't make a wrong pick in the stock market. 2022, full tank of gas. Yeah. And 2023, you can afford eggs. Now, think about all those people who own chickens. They're rolling in the cash. Winter fuel crisis solved. <laughs> Yeah, I believe you can go to Costco and get a discount version of that. It's still a little bit expensive for uh, the winter crisis, but you can do that. And that's exactly where that book belongs. I've seen little clips of it. And what a whiny, whiny, spoiled brat. Where This is the garbage that you put out there? Like you're complaining about this life? Oh, my dad, he wrote letters praising me and put them on my pillow instead of praising me verbally at dinner. I'm not kidding. That's a thing he cried about. Shut up. But hey, he successfully fleeced millions and millions of people into buying his book and he got rich off of it. So I guess he won, right? What would you like to see Joe Biden do in the winter? Um, resign. That would be nice. It would be. The only problem is uh, Kamala would step up. Resign. We'd have even more problems, but it would be nice. I literally just spent 50 thousand dollars on a taylor swift ticket but it's worth it because she's literally changed my life <laughs> like she does so that's me if i truly like was like you know don't pay that much money <laughs> she had me there for a second um yeah don't i don't know is anyone actually paying fifty thousand dollars to go to a t-swift concert i know people are paying thousands per ticket that's insane and oftentimes, some live people are great. Have you ever seen Taylor Swift at that Rock and Roll Hall of Fame concert with Stevie Nicks? One of the worst live performances of all time. She's not good live. She, she isn't. Maybe, I, hey, whoa, whoa, Swifties, don't hurt me. Don't be pissed. Direct your anger in the comments. All right, we'll get to it. Life of a rookie. Oh. <laughs> Is this a real one? Is this a real one? I know they... Uh, a while ago, they faked one, but that looks real. Ooh. Back from a 10 hour photo shoot, so don't mind me looking like this. Maybe I need to go on a 10 hour photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay. This is why I love these, like this girl in the beginning. You're detached, lady. You're detached. Quit fishing for comments. I mean, come on. Why are humans like this? They ain't humans. <laughs> They're really turkeys, I think. <laughs> Why are humans like this? I hate when people talk like that. Why are humans? Like you're not a human yourself or you're, you're, you're above looking down. It's just shut up. Shut up. Okay, hi everyone. Great work on the Stanford Newspeak Dictionary, replacing harmful words with more inclusive words. Um, we just have a few more we wanna add, so let's get these up right away. Okay, instead of saying straight white male, let's say the devil. Instead of saying straight white female, let's say the devil's partner. Let's replace man with oppressive patriarchal piece of shit. More direct, yeah, more truthful. Instead of <laughs> diversity, let's just say just not white people. I'm sorry, uh, just not the devil. <laughs> let's replace racism with shit white people say. Instead of calling someone fat, call them a food-filled person. Let's change drug addict to needle curious and homeless person to persons who shit on the street, yeah? And that's it. Great work, guys. Did I just say guys? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I resign immediately. Banned. Banned.
Tyler Fisher, uh, hilarious. Great bit there. And if you missed the Stanford list of things you can't say, go check it out. We Again, we might do a video on that here. It's absolutely bizarre. So we'll get to that, but go follow this guy. Hilarious. I do not know how colleges get away with outrageous lies like this on their website. This is an American Indian and Indigenous Studies degree at South Dakota State University. On their like job opportunities page, unless I'm reading this wrong, they're saying 4.9 million people are employed with this degree with an average salary of 74,000 and there's 62,000 job postings. I mean, you type this into Indeed. Your job options are Chipotle and a farmer's market coordinator. Dude, do not get sucked into a stupid degree. All of you kids out there in high school, going to college, do not get scammed. This is a scam. This is how colleges scam you. This is a fact. Get a real degree. Get engineering, medicine. Those are real degrees. There are more bogus BS degrees than there are actual things you need to go to school for. Sadly. So don't get sucked into this. When my wife asks me if I've done the projects she's been asking me to do for the past six months. I haven't done it yet. I may do it. If this doesn't work out, probably I will do it. I would almost say definitely. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I may do it. If Fellas. If this doesn't work out, probably you gotta, I will do You got to start thinking of definitely. some excuses. You, got, you can't kick it down the road forever. You can try. But it's just, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun for you if you keep doing that. <laughs> I'm not sure how they held in their laughs. 18 years old, it's your first Olympics. And you swam, honestly, your third leg was just phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I mean... 18 years old, it's your first Olympics. Grow up! And you swam, Grow your third up, leg was guys. Just what is this, from uh, the last Olympics? The last... Yeah, Summer Olympics. I mean, Your third leg was absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> I'll never guess what I found in my mom's cupboard. And I can't be the only one. Allspice. All okay. Ground allspice. I'm looking at this. Not there. Not there. Here we go. 1977. Mom! 1977 are you kidding me this calls for action folks we need to go through our grandparents our parents we need to go through their cupboards and make sure this isn't happening because you know why you know exactly why you go over there for dinner sometimes they make you dinner and you know what they're using that from 1977 how old's the sour cream how old's the milk i don't know i have to check now i'm not eating that i if you know me, I'm a stickler on ex expiration dates. My wife's rolling her eyes right now. Reason I can't sleep, number 2041. The snap sound is from your finger hitting your palm, not the two fingers rubbing together. What? It's all been a lie, man. It's all been a freaking lie. Has anyone translated this yet? In case you missed it, this is what I'm talking about. Make no mistake. If you try anything to raise the cost of presenting jobs, to presenting jobs, to presenting jobs, I will veto it. To presenting jobs, to presenting jobs, to presenting jobs. Literally watching his career go down in flames. What is that? Is that a robotic AI? AI mopper? Oh no. Poor guy. Look, at least he looks like he's pretty close to retirement. No offense, guy. But, uh, you know, younger generations, you younger janitors out there, younger custodians, you never know. You never know. Um, the AI. Well, they're coming for all of us. All of us. Everyone. Even the YouTubers. Yeah. Did you guys see this? Look at that. That's real. This is a, a fashion. Dude, what the hell? Like, uh, people go to this? People pay to be at these events? What in the hell? I'm convinced 
You know, like we're this is real Zoolander. Zoolander's a real thing. It's not even like embellishing these people. This is what they do. And I'm convinced that there's someone out there pulling the strings to just see how far they can take it. How far can they go with the stupidity, the weirdness, the idiocracy to see how when people will comply? I just I, like this, this is like this is art. It's a joke. Hey guys, what up? It's me, Mr. Beast. I'm here in heaven and I just had a meeting with God and we've decided to cure cancer and end world hunger on this episode of Mr. Beast. <laughs> Take the cure for cancer and shove it up your ass, you just... Mr. Beast. You're just doing this <laughs> for views. Stop curing most of the world's problems. <laughs> All right, boy. <laughs> oh, it get you a hundred million views. Doing some really good stuff for the earth. Eat and die. I hope the devil comes back and makes ultra cancer. Dude, dude. All right. This was the this was the honest reaction by a lot of people when Mr. Beast made that curing blindness video. He did a great thing. He really did. And he doesn't need to do that for views. He's a he's here. He makes anything and it gets millions and millions of views. He didn't need to do it for views. He did it because I think he's actually a good person. This was the reaction. Absolutely bizarre. Oh my God, did you see the f news? Uh -uh. John Lennon dead. No! Yeah. Grandma, John Lennon's been dead for f***ing years, decades already. Come on. Well, I know. Oh my <laughs> it says no! Catcher in the rye, Grandma. You got shot. Come on. Oh my gosh, this was the worst no. era of TikTok oh, no. ever. Oh, my. <laughs> oh stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was Yeah, that was stupid. By far, worst era of the internet. You had people changing their profile pictures to the black squares. How much good did that do? Stupid. Come on. It's virtue signaling. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel makes you think like you're doing the right thing, but it actually does nothing. Zero. Zero to make real change. Tell me you grew up poor without telling me you grew up poor. We used to have bread and butter at meals when I was a kid. Not fancy bread, like light bread, like out of the loaf um, with butter. Not even, not real butter, country crock, like spread, vegetable oil, <laughs> if you will, with some hamburger helper and Kool-Aid and it slap. It means you're poor. I guess I didn't know that. Hamburger helper, Kool-Aid, the bread, that's all, that's a, that's a mainstay. All right. You know, I see no problems with that. No problems. This new AI robot technology, crazy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I caught that on video. I caught that on video. Yeah, the uh, the new AIs. We got. Oh, well, let's raise the minimum wage. Let's do it. Well, here you go. That's what happens. And you get even ter more terrible service. Xi Jinping, name me one. Grandma, Grandpa's yelling random shit again. I have no idea what he's talking about. What are you saying? Let's re we'll replay that here. Xi Jinping, name me one. State of the Union. Yeah, nice little flashback there. It's starting to get angry. That is a bad symptom for all of you that don't know that. I don't feel safe at the gym anymore. Words can't express how completely unsafe I feel at this gym now. The way she stops and stares, I felt uncomfortable and unsafe. I know my shorts are extra short, but doesn't give a reason to stare. We need to bring awareness to this. We're bringing awareness to it right now, all right? Thank you for making this video. That is not okay. She's looking right at him in the gym and uh, he can wear whatever he wants. He can wear whatever he wants. Seriously. Like if someone even makes eye contact, even looks in that direction, that's assault. You know, and women out there all over the place are doing this to men in the gyms. That's a fact. That's true. So here we are spreading awareness on a serious note. Did you guys, have you guys followed this stupid drama? Have you? This is, this is great. I love this. This is a real problem, guys. I've seen this 10 times and still can't stop laughing. $20. $20. $20. $20. Yes. He bet you 20 bucks. Uh-huh. Come on, baby. Let me see what you got, huh? Ready? Say you go hit it one time, huh? One time. <laughs> Spot him. Oh, that's not funny. Spot him. Dude, he's got it on his chest. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Guy on the bench, man. Come on. Grow up. Point of view, you're working out in 
Yeah, you're going to jail, buddy. You're going to jail. You looked at a girl in the gym? Oh, <laughs> dude, you're you're going to jail. This is 2023, man. Just because I voted for Biden doesn't mean I am stupid. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. Beautiful video. I love it. Just because, man, just because doesn't mean you're stupid. Well, yeah, no, that's not totally true. Look what, uh, look what we have now. Look what's going on. And did you get your student loans forgiven yet? No? Okay, well, he tricked you. Two elections in a row. Hope you feel smart. What's he doing? Getting up his Home Depot? Lowe's? Is he, is he putting it up there or getting it down? Keep coming down, man. You got it. He's getting it down. There you go. You can't be scared. Just roll with it. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. So you're doing good. Pick it up again. <laughs> Someone help him. <laughs> what kind of noises are those? <laughs> Come down. No. no. Oh, stop it. Is that a wicker chair? Dude, that's not even that heavy. You bag of milk. You soft body bag of milk that's not even heavy. <laughs> come down. I can't. I can't. The machine's not moving. Oh, Man, I don't no. Know how to work the you need to go down. You need to go down. Oh, no. Please, somebody. Please, somebody. <laughs> Dude, I'm going down. Hold it Dude. Easy, okay? I can't. This is. Let's see if you can find it. That's not the switch. Or is that? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, bro. Dude. Go grab All right. Boys, girls, if you want, get to the gym. This is embarrassing. And if you're in trouble, uh, you know, don't make those noises or you're going to go viral. I, just, I have to say, it's kind of pathetic. Although I will say you're probably going to win some sort of lawsuit, I'm sure. Who knows? That That's hilarious. One of the funniest videos of this year so far. I have to say that. When you lost but made $30 million. <laughs> You know, you love or hate this guy. He's winning. He is. He lost whatever. Like, he still looked like a decent boxer. And he made millions and millions and millions of dollars. So, I, you got to give him props for that. You do. Just having my regular meltdown and realizing I'm never going to escape capitalism. And I'm just going to be a cog in the machine of productivity for my whole life. So... Happy you could just go find some freaking commune in California somewhere and they, they exist. Join them. See how miserable your life will be. Uh, and here's a, here's a tip for you. Make better decisions. You're probably drowning in 100K debt working at Starbucks. You shouldn't have got that stupid degree. All right. Stop listening to the people who told you that was a good idea. There There's step number one. So I don't feel bad for you at all. It's the capitalism. <laughs> Shut up. No way he just said that live on ESPN. She has 25 or more in four of her last five. Miller and Maryland, 66-61 winners. It's their fourth straight win. Let's get back to the actual basketball there in Ann Arbor. Joey Hauser. <laughs> uh, whoa, dude. Whoa. Woke ESPN is going to fire you for that one. Mm, how dare you? How dare you? <gasps> Taylor Swift dead at 33. No. <laughs> Stop this. You guys, this is, this is not okay, but watch his reaction here. <gasps> Taylor Swift dead at 33. No. <laughs> Taylor Swift dead at 33. No. The concern. <laughs> I mean, yeah, come on. Stop that stuff. About to drink some of this Ohio water. Boy, I feel a lot different ever since I drank that water. <laughs> About to drink some of this Ohio water. That's, that's messed up. Boy, I feel a lot different ever since I drank that water. <laughs> it's messed up, man. Come on. Don't make those jokes. There's people in Ohio right now. They're struggling. It's actually true. So, you know, 
Yes, you, we can make jokes about it. Relax. You don't consider yourself a capitalist, though. No, I don't. I believe in a society where all people do well, not just a handful of billionaires. Tickets for your tour apparently are selling for $95 no. on Ticketmaster, which is accused of anti-competitive behavior. You know that some of your Democrats are criticizing them. Aren't you benefiting yourself no, from this system I, that you're all, trying to dismantle? First of all, those decisions are made totally by the publisher and the bookseller. <laughs> I just thought, no, 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 capitalism. You're, uh, Bernie, how many houses do you have again, Bernie? How many? Oh, and you bent over to Hillary how many times now? You, you speak about anti-corruption, anti-establishment, and you bend over to the establishment. You're a fraud? What? Okay. All right. Yeah. You're tricking all these college-age kids that don't know any better. And it's sad. You suckered them. Suckered them right into it. It's time to start putting your foot down and saying no more like this guy. This is library. <laughs> He's trying to study, man. Shut up. Take it outside to people who don't care either. No one cares. You're just annoying. Protesters don't understand this. Nobody likes activists. You don't change anyone's mind. You actually create more enemies. Like, you're annoying. No one cares about what you want. This is a library. Shut up. I can't believe he's making me clear off the snow while he just sits in the car. He's the one that wants Starbucks. Despite the storm warning, you know what? No, he should be doing this. Of course. Here. Of course. Look at that, it's a Zed dog. He's got his hat backwards. In fact, you're false. Freaking Zed dogs want to be eating Starbucks, drinking Starbucks. Was recording my stretch and some weirdo was staring at me from behind. What are you talking about? Oh, is this a joke? All right, she's joking now. <laughs> she's joking, right? I can't tell. Like, these gym girls are insane. It's, it's literally insane. So, careful. I hope you're joking. My dog is a vegetarian by choice. So, some of you just don't believe that my dog's oh, a vegetarian. Not. So, I have this set up right now. For you guys to see, we have this really gross, um, it's like a beef, like dog food. Dog's gonna love and that. And then I have this delicious green salad. So I'm gonna bring her out and we're gonna see which one she likes. This is a joke, also, right? my dog is very healthy. She loves greens. She no, loves her salad. And no, I don't doesn't. force her to eat her salad. It's what she likes. Come here. Come here. Okay. Okay. So this is Bonnie. She see, is my fail little... Bad. Come on, Bonnie. Vegetarian. Eat the meat. Okay. Now, <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't eat that. No, no, no. Eat the salad. Look, salad. My dog's a vegetarian by choice. No. Here, pick one. No. My kid thinks no, no. that they're. No. No, Bonnie. No, no, you are making those decisions. Don't be a fool. Uh, you're living in La La Land. I, I think this has to be satire. I think. I think. I. It's hard to tell these days. If it is, great satire. If it's not, Yikes. Joe Biden giving millions of dollars to Ukraine. Here, right here, all your needs will be met. I'm hungry. In a minute! <laughs> guys, guys, if you don't back a proxy war, okay, if you don't support that, you're a bad person. You, you, yeah, that's, that's the narrative. You know that, okay? So just get with it. She's nice with it fire. What? What the hell? <laughs> No, no. Oh. Brother, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold. Please, 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 please. Who is all right, guys. We got to sit down and have a talk. I'm all for hobbies, man. I'm all for hobbies. Um, And I generally don't judge people on their hobbies. And they're here, you can do this. If you like this, you can do this. I do have to ask why, though. I do. Like, what? I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to empathize here. What is the allure here? That's what I want to know. Like, what? who's getting judged on what? What What makes a good pony a good pony? I don't know. I don't know. And, and right now, in my current state of mind, I, I see this and I say, that's kind of weird. All right? So, those of you pony 
jumpers, human things. I don't know. Let me know. What's the deal? What's going on here? How would you say your mental focus is? Oh, I love these. Oh, it's focused. <laughs> I say it's, I think it's, I, I haven't, look. I just love these. I have trouble even mentioning, even saying to myself my own head the number of years. I no more think of myself as being as old as I am than fly. I mean, it's just not, uh, uh, I haven't observed anything in terms of, there's not things I don't do now that I did before, <laughs> whether it's physical or mental or anything else. How would you Dude, say your mental focus Guys. He's the president. <laughs> this is how he, this is this clip I believe was from like a year or two ago too. So he's even further progressed on his mind loss. Like what the hell is going on in the world right now? You have to laugh at it. You have to like how did this happen? We all have an idea, but let's keep going here. To dive into because MSNBC has a very high standard of what is factual? You have to go through a process before you report things on air. Now we know that the vaccines work well enough that the virus stops with every vaccinated person. A vaccinated person gets exposed to the virus. The virus does not infect them. The virus cannot then use that person to go anywhere else. It cannot use a vaccinated person as a host to go get more people. This is real. She said this. That means the vaccines will get us to the end of this <laughs> all right yeah that's a great clip there great clip i've traveled over 140 countries around the world as i was the, i'll paraphrase the phrase in my old neighborhood the rest of the countries the world's not a patch on our genes if we do what we want to do we need to do we do what we want to do and need to do it in the rest of the neighborhood patching the genes man come on man Life philosophy right there. Leading the country. Amazing. When your teacher asks you to read the next paragraph for the class. Um, uh, I can't have trouble reading this. Reuters, uh, Natanja Bose. What? By, by and off to a great start this year. Good analogy, though. You get called on in front of class, you got to read. Sucks. Insane. Speaking of gym. Do you need something? Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. Are you okay? Keep the question. If you're getting rude, you can leave. Nobody will stupid if you're getting type of thing. I don't own the gym, I work here. Yes. And if you're getting rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can call the police and have you trespassed right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let them know. That's what we'll do. So right now, I'm just going to take the stuff and head up front. Okay. Update, I was trespassed. My membership was revoked. Good. 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 I'm sick of this. I'm sick of seeing these clips, these entitled idiots at the gym. You're at a public gym. Quit taking your shirt off, making stupid videos. Get your workout in and leave. Drives me nuts. Man versus tire. Tire wins flawless victory. Oh, <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> dude it literally destroyed him humiliated him oh it pulled the pants down and everything you poor bastard <laughs> now it's on tv oh that's what happens watch out for them tires seriously that's a true thing there's a lot of weird stuff happening with tires flying everywhere have you seen those videos like out of nowhere a guy's just sitting at at lunch and he gets whacked by a tire the guy driving, tire blows off the, the truck, freaking launches into the air. Like, I don't know what's going on here, but the tires are possessed recently. I told my Italian father I was going to vote for Joe Biden 2024. Oh, this should go good. Hey, Dad. I guess you want I to gotta tell you something. Your yeah. You gotta I'm promise back. you're not gonna be mad. If it doesn't look like a demon is being exercised okay. in her body. You're going out of garden. No. Oh, good. I'm gonna go vote for Joe Biden in 2024. You're gonna need to fight. You're gonna be an orphan if that happens. I'm gonna be an orphan. Yeah, because your father's gonna disown you. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else? Huh? You got parents like that? I, I like this trend. Let's uh, let's start telling our parents that you're gonna do this. So get their reaction. You don't want to be an orphan though, kid. So careful. You stupid hurt. You be rolling in pain. Bro, you are not even in a 
parking spot. <laughs> it's stupid to hurt. You'd be rolling in pain. Can't even park. <laughs> oh, it's a nice truck, though. It is. You got a nice little Chevy there, but shh, man. If stupid bur- <laughs> stupid hurt, you'd be rolling in pain. Some people... Okay, quickly, so I, I misunderstand. Are we saying that two plus two, if you say it's four, that's racist? I mean, that sounds like we may be mischaracterizing it. What, uh, if you can quickly sum it up. No, that's not mischaracterizing it at all. It's math is basically racist under this ideology because it says there is no such thing as an objective reality. So four might not be the right number. Two plus two might actually equal five. There ain't no way she's serious. Ah, uh, another one. I'm pretty sure they're serious. I, these these people, these extremists. That's it. I'm telling you, two plus two is racist. I've been saying this for years, okay? Genuinely. It's racist. Two plus two could equal five. Obviously, everyone knows that. If you think otherwise, you're a bigot. You have a problem, man. How to drink Bud Light. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to drink Bud Light. like that yes i have to say uh i've been pretty vocal that you know for the last like 10 years that protesting boycotting it has almost never worked this is one where i don't ever remember the social media backlash the in real life backlash knowing people that own bars uh go to bars and say yeah that people really are not drinking it so Kind of interested to see. There's this is like the first time I've ever been like, huh, eh, this one might actually work a little bit. I found someone. This yeah, old guy? Sid. Go. He's already achieved so much, and yet he's still goal oriented and still focused. And he has a five year plan. What is it? Don't die? <laughs> Great movie. Big Daddy. Great movie. And <laughs> you have to ask, like, what is the five year plan? For real. What is it going to be like? 86 at that point, 87. Man, I've been waiting on one of these, bro. Let's have a night tonight. Dude, try this one. Why? Just do it. All right. I mean, it's good, but what the f***? No, what'd you put in that? No, stop. What the hell? What the f is... Oh, what the hell, dude? What was in that, bro? Dude, y'all are f***ing with me, man. Dude, that had some kick, bro. <laughs> that had some kick. <laughs> Guys, guys, enough Bud Light memes. The egg was not on the salmon. So can I please get a new one? I don't want to eat this. Can you leave already? Why are you even here? You're joking, right? I can't she make this serious? Up. Why is the egg not on the salmon? You guys can see clearly that I'm not making this up. Like I'm I not making this up. Do you guys see this egg that's not on here? Then put it on there, you idiot. Okay, so I ordered a salmon benedict, which the egg clearly is supposed to be on, and then why is the sauce even on the side? Like, it's supposed to be on top. Can I just speak to the manager? Like, I'm so sorry. I am the manager. She's being serious. I really don't know who hired you to be a manager, but I can clearly see that you are not, you know, the right person for this job. Dude! I'm gonna try to put this on. If it, like, opens <laughs> on the way, I'm literally gonna have to ask you to bring me another one. Dude, she's filming herself like she's in the oh right. God. That's okay, the best part. Breaking. Can I get a new one? Sorry, yeah. Can I please get a new one with like a new plate? It's to be a set <laughs> story. Because I'm honestly not eating this until you bring me a new one. Sorry. I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving. <laughs> I'm so sorry, like, I'll just leave. You can just serve this to the next person because I didn't <laughs> need it yet, but I really appreciate it. And she's crying. Ah, oh, that's funny and not funny because that person was serious. Have you ever been with someone like that at a restaurant? It hasn't been this bad. This is the, the problem with our generation. Entitled, spoiled brats. Man, and I hate to say that because that's my generation. What is the truth? Before Bud Light. Marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. I'm gay. <laughs>
marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. You're going to hell, man. Especially if you laughed at that, too. Whoever made that. <laughs> I went from 185. I went from 6'1 to 6'4 by doing this every morning. No joke. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. The guys, I can't believe you're sharing this on TikTok, I, um, on social media. This is this is not supposed to be online. This is an ancient secret. This is how I don't know if you guys knew this, but on the on the websites it says I'm five four. That's how I went from five four to six two in a month. This exercise every morning, you can get taller like this. This is true, and I'm I'm freaking six two. Is, wh whoever made these websites, you guys are idiots. Wait for it while holding pizza. Oh. Chase. That's a high speed chase. High, that's a high speed chase, she yeah. says. And he's going towards it. Oh my god. Better Jager. I hit my car. Oh my god, Jager. There's a high speed chase on the left. No. No. That is fantastic. Risky. But fantastic. <laughs> That's citizen's arrest right there, man. When I turn red, say something, and I'll mix it into a song. Here we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Row up. Grow up. <laughs> Celebrities you didn't know have disabilities. Deaf in one ear. Oh, really? Has dyspraxia. ADHD. Is ginger. <laughs> I didn't know that. I had no idea. I had no idea. Wow. That's. <laughs> Point of view. You come out as straight to your liberal parents. Mom, dad, can I tell you something? Yes, of course you are. What's up? I'm dating someone. <gasps> What's his name? Her name is Sarah. I'm straight. Okay. What did you just say? No. Not... <laughs> no. Carol, what did you just say? I'm straight. He said he's straight. So let's just all breathe through this. No son of mine. Okay. Okay. We'll be straight. Here's the thing. When you're young, you experiment. You don't, yeah, this is a phase. I love you no matter. Honey. No, I'm not doing this. Okay. What do you think of Celine Dion? Are you just done with her? I don't know. He doesn't know about Celine Dion anymore. <laughs> this is tough. You know, maybe you're just not a bottom. Yeah, sweetheart. You should just try one time being a top. Tonight, we will all sit on the couch. We'll watch. <laughs> should we watch? We'll watch, um. Hairspray. Hairspray. We can, as a family, just scroll through Grinder. He's our son. He's not my son. It's not my son. <laughs> he just needs some time. <laughs> what are the odds that this exact conversation has taken place at some point or another in 2023? I'm going to go 99%. This has really happened. Obviously, this is a joke, but I, I'm going to, I think this is probably true somewhere. I, I just, that's where I'm at. I, I think that people have gone nuts. That's just <laughs> the wife getting home from a bottomless brunch. I think you think you're doing this early? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it's kind of sad. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Get in there now before the neighbors see you. Come on. There were rumors that this was like a, a deep fake, that, you know, they had a green screen and you could see the filter when she moved her hands or whatever. But I don't think all of them are. Uh, someone, please, for her own good, take the phone, man. And don't let her have bottomless brunch. That's just bad news. Can okay, you explain so what this is? You guys need to see this. And you need to confirm that I'm not crazy. Because I've been seeing this every single night for two weeks here. I come to this beach. And I sit down. And tell me if you guys are seeing this, all right? This is going to... This is gonna f you up because it f me up. Something, something to stupid's sit, gonna happen. And I'm gonna look straight up and watch. Just tell me if you guys are seeing this. I'm gonna try and point it out. Okay, so look in the center of those clouds right there. It's gonna happen. It happens every night at the same time. Wait, there it is. There it is.
grown. <laughs> so stupid. It's so stupid. Why? Why is that even funny? It's not, but why? All right. Is this? Hopefully, this is not recent. I like that Jeep back there. I love those Jeeps. Hello, who is this? My name is Richard Lee, and I'm running for city council, so I just wanted to introduce myself. Excuse me? My name is Richard Lee, and I'm running for city council, so I just want to say hello. Are you a Democrat? Yeah. yeah. Then leave. Thank you. <laughs> Leave. Get off of my lawn. All politicians. You know, I, I, I'll, I'll lend an ear to some Republicans, but 98% of them to our lost cause. Um, anyways, if, if you come to my house like this, I'm voting against you on purpose because I don't like you. Don't come to my house. 1952, Biden home movies. Baseball trick shots. Wait. More than half of the women on the, in my administration are women. Let's go to his quote here in 2023. Can we just one more time? I know we've been over this, but this is just unbelievable that he said this. More than half of the women on the, in my administration are women. Half the women in my administration are women. Um, the first women, the half the women in my administration are women. Yes, half of the women. So he might be telling the truth. I don't know. <laughs> today is today. And yesterday was today, yesterday. <laughs> tomorrow will be today, tomorrow. So live today. So the future today will be as the past today. As it is tomorrow. <laughs> I have to say this. Uh, that was, uh, she didn't really say that, but it's believable. You could believe her saying something like that because she does it all the time she says dumb things all the time so whoever put this together you're beautiful i love you this is hilarious would you rather share a house with your mother-in-law for the rest of your life i don't care what it is i'm gonna go for option two jumping off of the eiffel tower option two playing with snakes option two coming under a car option two really you must really not like your mother-in-law that's pretty bad Ace, what'd she do to you? Story time here. Ordering Chinese food. And Joan, Shengang, Shanga, Koala. Who did that? You're going to hell. Blind man scares Memphis Fox 13, Jeremy Pierre. That's where he later died. Now, right now, it's a very hard time for the entire family. This shooting took place uh just before 10 30 here on <laughs> masterson cove of he made a sound just before 10 30 here on masterson cove <laughs> of look i get it man i've been to memphis and that place is scary so uh i'd be on my i'd be on edge all at all times middle of the day early morning doesn't matter so i don't blame him can i get testosterone i want bigger muscles and and facial hair no, we don't want to mess with the natural processes of your body. I don't think I'm a girl. Can I get testosterone so I can have bigger muscles and facial hair? I hear you. Let's start that as soon as possible. Mm, mm, you know, I wish that were funny. It's not because it's happening all, all over the place, sadly. Gen Z in the battlefield. <laughs> not me being dramatic. Girl, guess what? <laughs> I just got kidnapped. Uh, <laughs> I'm calling you through my Apple Watch. So, where are the bathrooms? Uh, I'm not using those. Actually, my pronouns are hot, bitch, sexy, and always slay. We're getting attacked. Oh, that's not really my thing, you know what I'm saying? Hey Siri, call an Uber. And then he took off his mask and <laughs> he wasn't cute. So then I shot him. Again, the, you know, it's funny, but it's not because this is really happening it is in our military and the 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 part that's not funny about it mostly not funny is that china's not doing that china russia those armies they don't allow this nonsense so another one that is, is 
funny but sad. Sad. All right, she's getting the medal. Did you guys see this? Look at this. <laughs> uh, medals of Valor. I, do we have, is there more context to this? Did she, did they interview her? Look at this. She clearly uh, does not like Joe, as it seems. Kind of rolled her eyes, gave a sigh. It's like, jeez. <laughs> I mean, she showed up though, so maybe, maybe there's something else behind this. I don't know. I think you can tell if someone's liberal or conservative by the foods they eat. So this is going to be foods that have scream liberal before? or foods that scream conservative. Oh, well, if we have Oatly, we'll this is probably the most obvious one. You're definitely yep. a liberal. liberal? Yep. If you drink whole or grass it's fed yep, or right raw milk, you're conservative. Yep. Beyond Burger and Impossible liberal. Burger is liberal. Yep. Red meat is conservative. conservative. If you drink matcha, you're liberal. Black coffee, conservative. Yep. Now for breakfast, if you eat overnight oats, liberal. If you eat like steak and eggs oh, or yeah. bacon and eggs yeah. or sausage and eggs, conservative. If you cook with canola oil, liberal. If you cook with butter, conservative. If you use artificially flavored syrup, you're a liberal. If you use raw honey or raw maple syrup, conservative. Plant-based just egg, liberal. And if you eat what? real eggs, you're conservative. You know, pretty accurate in general. Let's just, I'd say it's, it's, you could stereotype someone's beliefs based off what they eat. Let's just say that. It's pretty easy to tell. Glenn, you have one guess to guess what I'm putting in your hand. Glenn, you have one guess to guess what I'm putting in your hand. I feel like it's going to bite me. It's not oh, going to bite you. You ready? It's wet. Yeah. It's not Ew. wet. Well, I thought it was going to be food, so instantly oh. disappointed. Oh. Is it? No, 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 stop him. Don't do that. Jeez. Ew, what the hell is your problem? It's a thermometer. It isn't even what it is. Oh, it's not a thermometer. Oh, no. Is thermometer your guess? I don't know. Can I not take the lid off? Well, I probably wouldn't. Oh, no. Just tell him. Oh, <laughs> the smell is very distinct. <laughs> what is on? What is on? I'm just realizing What do you mean? This isn't going according to my <laughs> You didn't watch the part you peed on? Oh, oh. Ugh. Ugh. It didn't quite go according to plan, but congratulations. Congratulations on the baby, on the next reveal, on the next child. I maybe do it a little differently. Uh, the 54-year-old suspect is still in the Dallas County Jail this evening with 250,000, 250,000, I'm sorry, 250,000, a quarter of a million thousand dollars, but I'm sorry, a quarter of a million bond. The suspect told police. Is that, uh, is that Joe Biden's granddaughter? Can we play the, the Joe Biden clip? Or a 50 million billion quadrillion. Somewhere between 700 billion and a trillion 300 million billion dollars. Okay, he walked it off. He walked. He landed on some mud. Like, come on, he's okay. You guys, I'm so proud. I'm so proud that you guys are saving the delivery fees. Check this out. Look at this perfect example. This guy right here. He watches his education. You know he does. Oh, this is. He's going full Grinch on this one. Full Grinch stole Christmas, saving the fees. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. When somebody who doesn't have any kids asks me how my day is going. I've seen things you've only seen in your nightmares. <laughs> things you can't even imagine. <laughs> things you can't even see. You uh, you ever, you ever hear of a blowout, huh? <laughs> Finding Nemo, but Theo Vaughn shows up. Do you know where my dad is? He huh? ended up dying. Actually, he did some pills and drove into an embankment. But he, when I was young, he would sh in his yard, make me bury it. <laughs> the best.
best mashup I've ever seen. Best mashup of all time. Dude, I love that guy. He still has an open invite to the show. He hasn't responded yet. We'll keep you guys updated. Cyclists don't understand how roads work. Starting his season off strong, this cyclist already murdered a family of four. Yeah, it does feel so refreshing, putting so many lives at risk <laughs> every day. We find the busiest roads and we take up as much space as possible. I mean, what's not relaxing about that? <laughs> if I can just find a nice hill or a corner and make sure you're horrifically maimed in an accident, I feel satisfied. Bike lanes are kind of for pussies. I suppose that's why I ride a mongoose, so. Do you like the cycle? Oh, get out of here. We should go sometime. Get out of here. I know there's a lot of cyclists that watch this show that get upset every time we make fun of cyclists. But here in Minnesota, I'm pretty sure they made a rule. Uh, they just passed a law that says cyclists don't have to stop for stop signs anymore. They're, they're immune to traffic laws. So yes, uh, this is the stereotypical bicyclist, the cyclist. Yes. What the hell is Karen doing? What? You are there, love. Do you know what you're doing here with your engine idling? No, what? You are polluting the atmosphere. Really? You're just sitting here without a care of the world with your engine running. Okay. And you don't care who you're polluting here. Okay, there really? There are lots of kids live around here, you know. Why? Why? Why is that so? Well, well, yeah. well he lives here. I, I don't see any kids here. Well, they're not here at the moment, but they're living in these flats. You know, the okay. fumes from this car are going in through the, all the, the windows the, and all the, the ventilation. The, the, uh, the uh, fumes from this car, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you do know that like, this car's electric, right? Ha ha ha! Yeah, yeah. You try and fob me off like oh, that. No, it's I'm an not electric car. Car. No, I'm not. Just to cover up your crimes, because I what will crimes? be reporting this. You know. What? What? I've what? Got your Report plate. me to who? To the authorities. What, what, what? And say what? Hey, excuse me. Someone's in their car. Yeah, and I'm going to take a picture of you and all. What? Yeah, what? so that's you. Is this you're in the car with the engine running. You're polluting the atmosphere. That is a crime now. How you know? is it a crime? Because you are sending untold. Nasty told. emissions of poison this... all over this area. <laughs> what, really? It shouldn't be allowed. Am I really? Yes, I think you are the, really, I think the, I think really, the... really. As you live Is and this breathe, real? as you're talking to me now, you are sitting there with your engine running. And you're sat there with a the hat. Atmosphere. And you're sitting there, and you're standing over there with a hat on. I'm, like, I'm not so, complaining about that, am I? Well, that might be a crime against fashion, but it's certainly not a crime, as in the police are going to get me, are they? No, okay, okay, so what? You, you're going to call the police because, because I'm just sat in my car? You just sat in your car with your engine running. If you were sat in the car with your engine off, like, I wouldn't say anything about it. But love, it's an electric go car off though. I my way and, you know, enjoy my afternoon rather than know, engaging like... in a pointless conversation with you. No, no. Although I hope like... it's not pointless because I'm hoping that you're going to turn that bloody engine off. Love, love, it's an electric yeah, car. Yeah, no, you've got a child in the back there. Love, love, it's an Do electric car. Do you know what car. you're doing to that child? You've got the window open talking to me. As you would, of course. But I'm saying but it's you, an electric car, though. It's not an electric car. It's, it's an electric car. <laughs> look, look there's, 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 no, there's no emissions coming out of it. What are you pointing it. at that for? What's look, that? No, no, What I'm, is that? What? Oh, so it, that tells it's me it's an electric you car. Touching my car now. What? You, you got the right. To, all right. You, look, you, you've okay, got the right to, right. to, to, to okay. invade okay. my finger. I'm not going to touch your car again. Thank you. I, I think this might be real. I think that was real. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and if this lady ever sees this, come to Minnesota or the Midwest anywhere when it's 20 below out. I'm running my car for about 20 minutes idling in the middle of the winter time. Lots of emissions going out. This, I hope this is fake. Do we got some confirmation? I wouldn't be surprised, sadly. That's where I'm at. I, if this was real, I would not be surprised. Is age a legitimate issue? It is a legitimate issue. Sure it is. And I think people are going to judge it. If I were to run, I think they're going to judge me on my vitality. Can I still run up the steps of Air Force Two? Am I still in good shape? Am I, do I have all my faculties? Am I, am I energetic? I think it's totally legitimate people to ask those questions. Do not laugh at that, you guys. Don't. Every company meeting in 2023. AI, 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 generative AI, generative AI, generative AI, 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 it uses AI. Yeah, it's uh, it's like a trendy thing now. It's like the the dot com bubble 2.0, but on steroids. If you mention AI, you're a fertilizer company. You mention AI in your earnings report, stock goes like that, and it doesn't stop. It's the like I said, dot com bubble 2.0. I might be wrong. I don't know. But if you own a company, you want your stock price to go up to say AI a thousand times, it will. When your drunk homie is arguing with his girl and you go to support him, 
He said it is what it is. Well, it is what it is because he is who he is. That's why it is what it is. <laughs> that is a legendary Biden line. He said it is what it is. Well, it is what it is because he is who he, he is. is. Who he is. That's why it is what it mean? is. What does that mean? My cat at 4.53 a.m. wanting food. Up. Wake up. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. You have been under cult brainwashing. Come out <laughs> of it. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, the uh, your cat, if you have cats, I don't know. You got to... I don't know. You shut the door on them and they just scratch the door. Maybe have an automatic feeder somehow because they'll do this to you. They'll wake you up. Same with dogs. Every politician ever. Open your eyes. Hi, I'm Gil Fulbright. The people who run my campaign, they've made this commercial, and I'm in it. This campaign, it's not about me. It's about crafting a version of me that'll appeal to you. A version that visits random work sites with paid actors pointing at things. A version of me that doesn't find old people loathsome <laughs> or pointless. <laughs> Has a conventionally attractive yet curiously still family. Listening to my constituents, legislating, these are things I don't do. What I do is spend about 70% of my time raising funds for re-election. I'd do anything to stay in office. My name's Gil Fulbright, but hell, I'll change my name to Phil Goldbright or Bill Fulbright or fill up my mouth with farts. <laughs> these are the things that are important to me. And these are the fine people that finance my campaign. Now, in order to do these things, I have to stay in office. And to stay in office, I have to keep these guys happy. Now, if any of these things make these guys unhappy, well, my hands are tied. So come November, the choice is clear. Do you want another spineless mouthpiece for special interest in lobbyists? Or a spineless mouthpiece for special interest in lobbyists? <laughs> I'm Philip <laughs> Amalfo Farts, and I approve this message. That is the best political campaign ad of all time. And it applies to both parties. There is like a, a, a absolutely select few handful of politicians ever that have ever spoken against these things. And generally they don't win. This is what happens. Because uh, you need the money to campaign. But guys, we know this. We know both parties are corrupt. We know the whole. This is just like the, the end of the Roman Empire, right? The corruption at the end of it was their downfall. Part of it. Part of the reason. We might be there soon because this is exactly spot on. This is how politics in America works, sadly. You guys, I can explain, okay? I can explain this following clip. Just hear me out. Now this just in, police uh, officers in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, were asking people to be on the lookout for a man who robbed a store. And I think, yeah, I think we do, we do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. Okay. This is the guy uh, they, wanted, they wanted people in Pennsylvania to be out on the lookout for. He's got, uh, he's got a nose and some hair that goes like that, and he was, uh, he was wearing a hat at the time of this particular, particular crime. Stands about five feet four inches. Have you seen the price of guacamole? Sriracha? Huh? What am I supposed to do? What are we all supposed to do, okay? I had no choice. I have a kid to feed. Also, five four, really? This is still going around? I'm 6'2". I'm not 5'4". Freaking fake news. Stop spreading it. Hood in the U.S. versus U.K. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's uh, accurate in the U.S., sadly. Oh. Oh. Thy pockets. I think not, you scallywag. <laughs> scallywag? Is it wrong? Accurate? Uh, let me know in the comments. I don't know. Nothing beats playing catch with your old man. A jump scare video. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. What the hell, man? Really? <laughs> that is the last thing I expected to happen. <laughs> Unbelievable. When the first woman tried out for the NFL. Except... She didn't do very well, yeah. Uh, her kick was, some say, a setback for all women. Yeah, I would agree. Um, that wasn't a real trial. That was a patronizing 
tryout. Uh, shouldn't have ever made headlines. You shouldn't have never been there. I mean, that was, look at that. Get out of here. It's embarrassing. Oh, yes. Apple Jetpack. <laughs> Apple Emoto. Hey, these are all fake, by the way. Apple Car. That might happen one day. Apple Teleport, 29 mil. Yeah, that's coming. Down the pipeline. Apple Ship. <laughs> Apple Chair. Yeah, you don't have to get up and go to the bathroom. That's true. Apple Orange. Nice. <laughs> Hologram. Scooter. That Maybe that'll happen one day. Apple Time Machine. Only 35K. Nice. Clearly making fun of the the eye, the headset thing, 3,400, 3,500, whatever it was. Like, no one, who wants that? Who wants, there's already VR headsets that exist. That's a lot of money. It's a freaking wear thing on your head to see what you can just see in front of you on your screen. It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, point of view, watching TV shows in 2023. I can't wait to watch the first episode of this new TV show. Hey, look at this trans character right here. Yeah. Yeah, this trans character is friends with an Asian. And they gonna solve space mysteries and talk about bigotry and homophobia. Yeah, oh, and they also got a, a quirky black girlfriend. She likes anime. I know you came to watch a TV show about space monsters and bad bitch guinea pigs, but wouldn't you rather see 50 episodes of us trying to show you how woke we is? Great impression, spot on impression of today's in entertainments today's propaganda if straight teachers acted like the other teachers <laughs> sorry i can't even tape myself today was the last day of school and i teach fourth grade and i have like the most amazing students and i've been keeping a secret from them all year long sorry these are tears of joy tears of joy so i finally came out to my students i was like class I have something really personal that I need to tell you. And I think it's really important for me to share this with you. I just want you guys to know that Miss Fontania, your teacher that you've had all year, I want you guys to know that I'm straight. And they were so accepting of my straightness. I showed them pictures of my husband and I was like, yeah, that's my husband, guys. That's my husband. And I also said, if you guys ever want to talk to me about what it's like to be straight, like, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. And I had so many kids tell me they were straight, too. That would be, uh, you know, if that was the case, if they were doing that, that would, you know, be a good impression there. She's pretty funny, by the way. Congrats to all the 2023 grads, but particularly those who took the long road. Did you hear I finally graduated? Yeah, and just a shade under a decade, too. All right. You know, a lot of people go to college for seven years. <laughs> I know. They're called doctors. Shut up, Richard. Shut up, Richard. Your head has a shell on it. Legendary movie. If you've never seen Tommy Boy, you're welcome. You'll enjoy it. You'll love it. Great movie. Some say the best. If I worked for Joe Biden. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. Made in America. <laughs> he said it is what it is. Well, it is what it is because he is who he is. That's why it is what it is. <laughs> so the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway. COVID has taken this year, just since the outbreak, has taken more than 100 years. Look, here's the lives. It's just, it's a, when you think about it, Is it funny anymore at this point? Like, I mean, it is, but like, are we surprised? It, I, I'm at a loss for words at this point. It's like, I'm not surprised at anything that happens. That's or that's where I'm at, okay? One of you, you are one of 72,000 people dancing at Taylor Swift in Pittsburgh and seeing and feeling the entire stadium sway. Another one of these videos? Is, you guys, is this, uh, is this where you wanna be? That's how you wanna go out? Look at that, oh my, the whole scoreboard. I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. You know, props to her. She's murdering it. She's she's literally, she's on one of the greatest heaters of all time. She's filling 72,000 seat stadiums for like a thousand bucks a pop. It's insane. But is that a little bit of a hazard? Just maybe? 
my wife the second I sit down after asking her if she needs anything. Ha ha! I need water. Help me. I need water. <laughs> Help. Dude, every time. I need water. Help back me. to, you know, wives and husbands and these things. Why? I just asked. I just asked and you said no. And now I'm down. I'm sitting down and comfy now. Just can you please ask before we sit down? Local commercials are the best. This is perhaps the greatest video I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm not even joking. <laughs> There's a cry across the heartland, a yearning for the days gone by. And in little old Corden, Indiana, they're happy and they'll tell you why. They got butt drugs. They love butt drugs. Ba -ba -ba butt drugs. Ba -ba -ba butt drugs. I love butt drugs. <laughs> I recommend butt drugs for everybody. I can always count on butt drugs. When I think drugs, I think butt drugs. For all my health needs, I turn to butt drugs. You want hometown service, <laughs> cheap hot coffee, and liquor. Now that's the ticket. You can tell Walmart, CVS, and Walgreens exactly where to stick it. Ba -ba -ba -butt drugs. We love butt drugs. Butt drugs. Butt drugs. Butt drugs. Butt drugs. Butt drugs. Free parking in the rear. Ba -ba -ba -butt drugs. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Really? I love butt drugs. I love butt... Oh, oh. Really? Like, you had to end it there? You park it? Come on. Come on. Where is this? Corden, Indiana. Do, does anyone... You guys from here? This is the best commercial I've ever seen in my entire life. That, that There's no denying that. This is phenomenal. This is... If you're ever in this area, you got to stop there. I have no idea who these people are. I don't know. I don't even know if it's a good store. I don't even know if they're still open, but for that, you got to go say, hey, you got to drop in. You got to say, hey. Okay, so so they found that bag in a cubby at the White House, and they're hitting us with the... In the goddamn White House, there's no camera that can go boop, boop, boop. Oh, that guy put it there. <laughs> All I know is that if that bag was found in my house, and I said... They would start the investigation by kicking my ass. <laughs> Nobody knows. We have no idea whose it was, guys. Nobody knows. Even with all the cameras around there, just not, no idea. There's a, literally not even a clue. <laughs> it's funny and not funny because people are in prison for stuff like this, but it's okay when it's in the White House. It's not even a big deal. It's funny. July 4th, America vs. Welcome, oh, hell yeah. Y'all know what today is? It's America's birthday! Woo! Freedom! America! 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 Do you know what rhymes with America? Colonialism. Read a book. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're supposed to stand! There's nothing more American than cheap crap made in China. Yep, China. There ain't nothing more American than a good old fashioned butt heavy. What do you mean they got bought out by a Brazilian company? <laughs> that ain't true. Fracking should be banned. Cottage cheese should be banned. Gas powered cars should be banned. You smell that? Freedom! <laughs> 1776, baby. That's the day George Washington and Christopher Columbus signed the Declaration of Independence. Let us get it! Freedom! <laughs> Tax corporations. Tax the rich. Tax the school. Tax the school children. Tax the president. Twice. Tax your mom. Tax, yeah. Well, you know, there's it's funny on both sides, right? Who, who is this guy? Do we got a, a name on this guy? Dude Dad Vlog? Yeah, that's that's funny. Obviously, one guy is more fun than the other. That's just a fact. What can you imagine being that miserable? Yeah, whatever. That good job. Nice comparison. Nice embellishments. Those are funny. Taylor merch truck opening. There are two Swifties here who shall remain anonymous. Oh come on. Who called in <laughs> sick to work? They traveled here from Louisville, so they've gotten quite a drive here. They've been here since about two forty-five in the morning. So can you tell me what Taylor Swift means to you? She must mean a lot to you because you're here and you've called in sick. That is very true. I almost named my daughter's middle name Taylor, so. Oh my goodness, I love it. Now, what are you hoping to snag at the merch truck here? Um, I want the gray quarter zip. Yes, 
We love the Grey Quarter Zip. Yeah. Wait. Now, are you guys going to Hold the shows this weekend? I am on Saturday. Okay. Okay. What are you looking forward to the most for that show? Is there any special song, any surprise song you want her to sing? Um, no. I'm taking an 11 year. 11 year old little girl it's her first time mm -hmm. i went to the show in nashville so it's more for her okay oh i absolutely Too love that that's we wonderful that's wonderful you have an 11 year old daughter you have you went to the nashville show i feel like your work could easily figure out if you're skipping or not and this is not even for the show i saw this clip not that long ago this isn't for the show this is for the merch truck really look you can be a fan you can go to the shows i don't really care this is a little bit over the line. Just a little bit. We're just going to leave it at that. I hope work didn't find out. Was it worth it? Did you get what you wanted? Let us know. How to be a terrible politician and an amazing cameraman. Go. And just a final question here. Is there any sort of work being done to you with the airlines um, in order to get uh, flights actually on time or not delayed as much? Just curious if there's any work happening there. Yes. So we've seen a, almost a doubling in terms of improvement on on-time performance since last year. That is a reflection of all the work that we've done across the <laughs> ecosystem together with our partner airlines, with agencies, reducing processing time, reducing wait times, and fine-tuning operations with our air carrier partners and we see the great results that have come from that taking a page right out of Kamala and Joe's handbook just palter say whatever you can fill the void with space even in the in the face of the truth just just lie just lie even if it's right behind you lie 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 die with the lie that's dirty politics 101 when your therapist tells you to find a serious hobby oh this again dude I see this more and more and more. They actually have people in the stands. There's a crowd there. You know what I'm going to do? Now that I'm thinking of this, I think we're going to make this a punishment on the next D video or the next Megan D video, which is coming up, by the way. Whoever loses has to enter one of these competitions. That's what we're going to do. It's just beyond embarrassing the ignorance of this administration. Oh, let's hear what's going on here flowers at the site where John McCain was shot down in Vietnam. What the know-nothing millennials who set Kamala's schedule didn't know is that the site that she's laying those flowers at, it's a celebration of those who shot McCain's plane out of the sky and then captured him, delivering him to the VC for his long stay and torture at the H Hanoi Hilton. This happened? The stunning ignorance of Kamala Harris and her team was noted by Yao Wen Zhu, a journalist based in Beijing, she tweeted, Does Harris know this monument honors the people who shot down John McCain's plane? Vietnamese people view him as a war criminal. So in essence, Harris was paying tribute to those who shot down John McCain's plane. It'd be like Harris laying a wreath at Pearl Harbor, honoring the brave Japanese pilots who sunk the USS no. Arizona freaking way when did this happen how did i miss this this is fantastic i mean it's not like this person has a lot of power in the country right now and this team clearly they don't know what they're doing embarrassing <laughs> embarrassing hilarious in a dark way but that's that's amazing watch this pitch is it a print shop is it a bottle cap what the hell I can't believe you're playing that game still, man. It's a white power symbol. Did you know that? Wait for it. Damn, girl, you get thicker. Damn, girl, you get thicker. Fair reaction, kitty. <laughs> Look at the caddies. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. He got buried under the tarp. Did someone else get eaten by the tarp? Oh, look out. Oh, God. Close. Gotta move. Close. Move. High stepping. Oh, oh boy, there we go. <laughs> Made oh, it. Oh, he no. got eaten by the tarp. He's he, under there. They're not Somebody... even stopping. Yep, no pause. Not even stopping. Somebody's oh. out of there. Left behind. Fend for yourself. And now he's going to ruin the info. He's doing the, the, the crawl. <laughs> <laughs> he's under there somewhere. This is like basic we training. Lost him. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, man. Don't. You can't leave a man <laughs> behind. <laughs> there. there was no mercy. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Get your knees up. Ankles up. Oh, school. Oh, that's. You got to train, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. And we finally Everyone got knows that. guy out, oh, too. Hey. Nair loses his hat. Finally. He's okay. He's a little dirty. They don't talk about that. When you apply for those grounds crew jobs, you got to be in good shape, man. Yes. Oh, ah! Hey, you know what I hope you did? I, this is what I hope happened. Couple things here. We got to go over this again. I say this every time. Thank you, activists, for the endless content, the endless entertainment. You, I truly appreciate you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. This is hilarious. This is gold. It is. Two, um... I hope all of your EMS people, you just got them out of there. You chipped them out, and then they had to walk around with the cement, the asphalt on their hand, and they had to figure it out from there. I mean, that's only right. They're wasting your time, wasting taxpayer money. But it cancels out because now we get to laugh, right? It's it's beautiful. It's just so much joy. Yeah, it's a shite song. What a, you think is going to happen, you idiot? It, okay, well, let's, uh, what the hell? Do we got any OBs out there? Any OBGYNs? Is this, uh, I mean, she's pretty pregnant. Should be doing this when you're that pregnant? Is that okay? I don't honestly don't know. I mean, that looks like that's what would happen. <laughs> but what are we updating on your phone? I'm confused. Well, we're eliminating people. Why? They're dead. <laughs> Grandpa. I mean, Jesus Christ. What do I, how can I call them if they're dead? Oh, it's like, it's funny, but also depressing, sad. And if you that have grandparents, you know, this is, oh, dude, that's, that's so sad. <laughs> They're dead. Matter of fact, I mean, what are you going to do? Point of view, you're playing with your friend from Ukraine. It's messed up, dude. <laughs> Get it? Because there's like a war going on there. This is crazy, man. That's messed up. Don't laugh at that. What the hell is this? No one's there. <sighs> Lulled me to sleep for a couple of weeks. Haven't had a jump scare for a while. Freaking got me. And here we were we we're gonna consider D for hosting's education, and <laughs> looks like he's the one getting fired again. My niece trying a lime for the first time. Well, this should be good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she fell over. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, cute little babies. <laughs> Jason Aldean, be like. <clears throat> hey everybody don't rob people stop shooting people please stop stop stealing stuff hey, hey wait a second hey we're getting tired of hey. it honestly please, stop it hey that is racist af wait, wait how is that racist hey man you know what you mean by that no i don't what do you mean by that? Hey, shut up. Man, I'm not listening to this. You already know who it is. Quantavius Dingle Jr., the third. We rep in the city. We don't do small towns over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just robbed a lady at 7 11. She tried to fight back. I sent her to heaven. I just like to steal. I'm a fox like Megan. I also do drugs and I, and, and I steal some more and, and I take lives. Because I'm a selfish individual and I don't care about anybody else but myself. And if you got a problem with that, you're <laughs> next. <laughs> he don't miss. Oh my God, this is heat. Lord. What's that guy's name? The Johnny Man. All right, guys. Hey, that is not funny. That is offensive. I can't believe you made this freaking skit. You know what? I'm offended. I'm going to go cry after this video. Just... <sighs> I hope you take that down. This is terrible. 
Every time. Why, uh, you know, oh, guys... Five more seconds. Let's go. I'm offended. Okay? Stop making these. <laughs> it's not funny. Stop laughing at these. It's not okay. In the age of PC culture, you can't make jokes like this. Enough. Looks like we got a baby baptism here. What do we got? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 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 oh poor... <laughs> Don't do that, baby. Ah, the Lord ain't going to be too happy about that. You know, you're a baby. So I think he'll forgive you. But <laughs> that is... <laughs> Woo, that's funny. Thailand plus size shops be like. BB fat. <laughs> oh my God. Fat girls. Fatty fat girl. Jeez. Love calories. <laughs> no. Thai fat. Okay. Fat cat. What the hell? This is unreal. This is unreal. <laughs> this, is, this is why I love other countries. They don't sugarcoat things. None of them. Only in the West. It's amazing. Josh Allen waited a year for this moment. Josh Allen, have a great year. Thanks Thank a lot. Appreciate you. Oh. For NBC Sports, Bills Camp, this is Peter King. All the best to you. You still got it? Yeah, we got it. Josh, good luck this year. Wish you well. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> huh? Got him. That's what happens. Atta boy, Josh Allen. Uh, that guy has an indefinite invite to the show, too. Add him to the list. Uh, Josh Allen, you're invited, man. I know it's probably not good for the league, but... If you ever want to come on Z-Education, you can. Lizzo to her dancers. Hey, fat people. Again, I still, we, we went over this. We went over this on a Clown World video last week. Lizzo said that Lizzo fat shamed her dancers. That's a thing. That happened in 2023. Only in Clown World. We're going to end it right there. Late as it lies. Oh, jeez. Those are club, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, hold on a second. Couple things here. That actually scared me. I don't even think that was meant to be a jump scare. But why are you standing there with the camera? He's right there, dude. And don't play it off the tar. You're going to freaking hurt your club, man. Your club's going to be scuffed permanently. Get out of there, dude. They gave their friend the best send off. So this is a heartwarming video. So their friend died and they're giving him one last send off, giving it the ball to him and he scores. I mean, look, it's a good video, but surely he's offside. <laughs> Let's take a click, a quick review here. That's offside. The rules are the rules, man. It was very thoughtful. Send off. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Not a spare seat in the house. In the pre World Cup friendly. And not a spare seat in the house. This is packed here. <laughs> <laughs> not a spare seat in the house. It's like a whole freaking section. I don't know. What was this? What game was this, anyways? Um. Women's World Cup, I think Spain won. Congrats to Spain, Women's World Cup. Not a spare seat in the house. Unreal. Homeless. Excuse me? Actually, it's unhoused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the smug, the smug fools. The ones that live in the cities generally. Uh, this is something they would probably do and I'm sure have done. <laughs> Since Lizzo won a body shame, let's not forget. Lizzo. Uh, next. Well, I invented the baby tint. The baby tint is a combination of... Are you serious? <laughs> 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 
we're all out. You're a get the out of here. Oh, who, who did this? Who, okay. Oh, that's the best splash I've ever seen. I have to watch this again. So I invented <laughs> the baby team. The baby team is a combination of. Are you serious? We're all out. You're an Get the out of here. Oh! Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's hilarious, though. Oh, uh, for legal purposes, that was spliced up, guys. That was not. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. F it. Megan Rapino World Cup highlights. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Wide. Oh, missed again. Mm. No, not quite. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Round of applause to Megan Rapino in her last World Cup. Uh, you love to see it. Couldn't have happened to a better person. Sorry, worst person. But um, it's a shame to the, all the other women on the team that are lumped in with her. So sad to see the other women lose, but her, yeah, great to see it. Very, very unlikable person. All right, flash, but I think, what is this video? Before we play this video from March, and I don't think we ever played it on Zeducation. So we're going to replay this. this is one of my favorite clips. So for anyone who has never seen it, enjoy. For those of you that have seen it, here's a beautiful reminder of this clip. Uh, um, just, just watch, roll the clip, roll the clip. So if I was like hiring and I saw pronouns, here's what I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume you're obviously very liberal. So I'm gonna assume you're one of those people that um, is super far left. Um, hey, I'm gonna assume you're not a very hard worker. Um, you are either a female or you're a probably not straight guy. So everything in the office is gonna have to cater to you your feelings, your needs, and your emotions. So everyone around you is not gonna be able to be themselves and walk on eggshells. Why would anyone want someone like you unless everyone's like you in a work environment? You're gonna be the laziest person, you're gonna be the most entitled, complain the most, and I think you're gonna be the first to sue. So shocker that pronouns weren't helping you guys. Sorry, did I, is there anything I missed there? Is there it's, just, it's, a, it's such a great flashback, such a great clip, and so true. Like that's when I hire in the future, I will ask for people to put pronouns. And if they do, you're not being hired. It's just not happening. So just keep that in mind if you ever apply for Zed Media. Oh, yes. And so they go out and they need to feed their child and they don't have money. So you maybe have to, they're put in a position where they feel like they either need to shoplift some bread or go hungry that night. Shoplift some bread. Great edit. What is this? A freaking fancy clothes shop? Mm. Stealing bread. I think there's probably a small fraction of people that steal to eat, but the clips we've seen recently, it's not the case at all. I was not ready. Watch till the end. A 22 year old man died at the hospital. Another resident who moved in a few months ago says he's now concerned about safety. I'm going to start carrying my pistol. You know, if we in the wild, wild west, somebody need to let me know. I think that was real. <laughs> that was real. <laughs> Activists glue themselves to the wrong tank. Oh, we've had this one. Just I know this, but this is just classic for anyone that's not seen it. Have to have to rehash this. What, what, are, what are they achieving? Well, what they're saying is they want maximum disruption to stop the government extracting oil and gas. Yeah, but that's cooking oil. <laughs> They ain't the brightest bulbs. They ain't the brightest bulbs out there. We know that. Work Police Division responded to a call of a man driving eastbound on 275 with a Watusi bull in his passenger seat. Uh, well, I love uh, this. The officers. I love this. Received a call, reference a car driving into town that had a a cow in it. Um, they that? thought that it was going to be, you know, like a calf, something smaller, something that actually fit inside the vehicle <laughs> and the Virginia? vehicle was big enough well technically as a result the, the officer performed a traffic stop and addressed some traffic violations that oh jeez 
uh, Dude, with that oh man. <laughs> uh, situation. The occupant of the vehicle was identified as Lee Meyer of Neely. The Watusi Bull's name was Howdy Doody. He was immediately pulled over Howdy by Duty. North Police and they performed a Howdy routine Duty on traffic that car, stop. Man. The officer wrote him some warnings. Um, there were some citable issues with that situation. <laughs> the officer chose to write him a warning and ask him to take Dude, the animal How back is that home suspension holding up? And, and to leave the city. Meyer and Howdy Duty are on their way back home and no one was hurt. Look, he gambled and he won. He saved the delivery fee, almost got a ticket for it. So, you know... It's what it is, but hell yeah, I love this. And uh, they're taking away our rights, man. I want to freaking haul a cow and a Ford Taurus, wherever the hell that is. What happened to this country, man? What's going on with this crap? Like, I, what? Back to the intro. You don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything, man. Robbery at Giant Eagle. It's not clear what may have been taken, and no arrests have been made. A 71-year-old man is accused of inappropriately touching a 12-year-old girl at the Walmart in West Mifflin <laughs> Sunday afternoon. <laughs> According to court... Oh, man. Is it just a uh, coincidence, accident? Did someone do that on purpose? I don't know. That's... Uh... Dude, lots of weird stuff. It could have been a real article. Lots of weird stuff, weird videos of Joe Biden and kids in the White House, in the chambers, man. I'm like, it's not even disputable. My response to most political questions in 2023. So, like, what's your stance on that whole issue? Um, I don't know that I'm comfortable sharing that out loud. What extreme viewpoint do you have that you're not comfortable sharing it? The kind that 99.9% .9 of people had until like three years ago that for some reason you're not allowed to have anymore. Yeah, like, uh, gender. This is absolute bizarre times we were living in. Um, and you, there is no talking with the other side. There really isn't. There's, it's uh, pretty, pretty divided, safe to say. Old people when the card reader says, please remove card. I mean, I got to say, I've done that myself. You know, you're not thinking, your mind's somewhere else. And Anyways, keep the Mitch McConnell memes coming. I love it. It's just, it's never ending. He deserves it. Keep them coming. Addison, what's a Democrat? Do you know what a Democrat is? Yeah, it's not dad. It's the complete opposite of dad. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Love your dad. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's, I can, <laughs> you got a good dad. I don't think people talk about this enough. Brittany Griner is having a really good season. She's playing well. Meanwhile, I looked up Victor Bout, the guy we traded her for. Nothing. Dude is putting up zero stats. <laughs> no hits, no results. This was a good trade for America. She's playing great. Guy doesn't have any rebounds even. Not assists. No minutes on the court. Great trade. Just kidding. Tammy, what's your political views? Oh, hell yeah, Tammy. I love Tammy. Let's see. What does she got here? What's her political views? What? Hell yeah. Hail to the yeah. What a burger. It's what a burger, not water burger. Just while we're on it. I love it. That's just, her political views. Doubled middle fingers. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's it. Yeah, hell yeah. That's a valid political view these days. So this is crazy. My husband did an ancestry DNA test a while ago to like see where his family history is from. Someone that he matched with as a distant cousin posted this picture behind me as one of their old family photos. And what I found to be so crazy is the woman in the picture looks almost identical to my mother-in-law, his mother. I haven't shown him yet, but like, look at this, like, like that's, that's her. Like, I, like that's not even someone that just looks like her. I know that's her. Oh, it's terrible. Hopefully like, she doesn't see this, huh? That's crazy. <laughs> uh, you must not like your family holidays with the in-laws. Jeez, that's, uh, <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Intruder at Fashion Week. Oh, yes. Look at this. He looks like he fits right in. That looks like what... 
See, that's the problem. Like, if you look at this guy, that is fashion. That's art today. It's a joke. And look at this. Nobody even noticed. Nobody noticed until the freaking security guard came in. What a, what a joke. What a scam. Stop buying this expensive stuff. Normally, it's pretty quiet. But on Sunday afternoon... I was in the, uh, in, in the bathroom taking a shave. And I heard a, a screeching... Saw that between a screech and a whistle. I said, what in the world is this? And I heard a boom. Then my whole house shook. White says he didn't realize it was a plane at the time, so he didn't call anybody. This is like the new thing for local news stations. Find like, this guy's the most country guy they probably could have found. And he performed. He showed up. This is, this is a gift to the world. Uh, Mr. Randolph White, I appreciate you. I, don't, I think this is probably for real. I don't think he was joking around here. The hole we dug Saturday. Watch the next slide. Get DNR Thanks, Bernard. Now, finally, for now, a mysterious hole on a beach has caused a stir in North Dublin. A local astronomy enthusiast is Stop. hoping the crater in Port Marnock could be the aftermath Stop. of no. a cosmic event. It's a huge, mysterious crater that looks out of this world. But is it? The unusual hole on Port Marnock Beach stopped local astrophysics enthusiast Dave Kennedy in his tracks yesterday. And he's certain the small but heavy rock inside it came from up above. As you can tell by here, there's a scorch mark on this side here. So that would have been at the angle that it came down no. at. And uh, it is weighty. No. I'm not sure if it's composition, but we're definitely <laughs> going to have to find out. The striking hole soon caught the attention of passers-by, many hoping that what they're Shit, witnessing here, is the aftermath of a once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event. I, I don't know who that's more embarrassing for. The news station or this alleged scientist? Bro, you literally just made something up. And this guy dug it with a tiny little plastic green shovel. <laughs> Ooh, that one has got to hurt. Embarrassing. I, I love the guy that dug this hole. Thank you. Thank you. Joe, I didn't eat, Joe. Joe, I didn't eat today, Joe. You know why, Joe? Joe you want to know why? The gas, Joe. I got a car. I got a car, Joe. <laughs> Look at me, Joe. Joe, my feet is on land. My feet is on land. I can run into a op. I can run into a landmine. This is it's all on you, Joe. I hope you're paying for my funeral, Joe. Now I gotta walk these streets because the gas price is too high. Why are you doing us like this, Joe? You don't like Bidenomics? Come on, man. Uh, and you know what? I think gas is probably going to go a lot higher. And I hate to say that. I hate to be negative. But he drained half the SPR, the Strategic Petroleum Reserves, lowest it's been since the early 80s. Terrible, 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 terrible situation. All because of Joe. Yes, because of Joe. Yes. When your coworker refers to you as their friend. <laughs> <laughs> you call me anything you want, but don't call me anything. <laughs> Dude, I love that clip so much. You can call me anything you want, but don't call me that. Calling in sick in different branches. Oh, here we hey, go. Sorry, Air Force I'm super sick. Uh, I'm not going to make it to work today. Army. Oh, you know what that sounds like to me? What's that? Sounds like I'm going to see you at work in 20 minutes. <laughs> More staff sergeant. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be able to make it in today. I'm super sick. Super sick. Okay, you got seven minutes to start sweeping the right, rain off the drill pad. Right. Hey, Chief. Yeah, I'm uh, super sick. I'm not going to be able to make it into work today. Got it. Can ships go underway without a crew? No, Chief. Interesting. I'll see you at work soon. Yes, Chief. Hey, sir, yeah, I just woke up super sick. I'm, I'm not going to be able to make it in. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah. I mean, do you want us to bring you anything? Do you need no, anything? No, I mean, I, I should be good. Two days off sound good? Yeah, Maybe sure. Take I on mean, a few more days. Uh, we'll see how I feel, I guess. <clears throat> kind of feels like I got, you know, like a bubonic plague going on here. So. <laughs> how about you yeah, take no, a whole week? Sure. Oh, okay. Sweet. And uh, let us know if you want next yeah. week, too, you know, just to make sure you're definitely right, good to go. Thank okay? you. Appreciate it. This bullshit. That is not true. That is not true. <laughs> Boomers, when their kids turn 24 and don't already have six kids, two cars, and a three-story mansion in the suburbs. Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> <laughs>
offense. No. <laughs> Great movie. One of my favorites. Yeah, you don't have a, a freaking mansion yet? 25 year old? It's part of because you went to college. Now you're drowning in debt. Hey, baby. Did you see that Taylor Swift stating that football player? Um, his name's like Travis. Uh, Kelsey? Yeah, Travis Kelsey. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Isn't that awesome? She's gonna be like helping him get his career going and like put him on the map. Put his face. <laughs> Nobody knew who he was until she showed up at the game for him the other day, and now that's all anyone can talk about. Like she's really helping put him on the map. He's disgusted. How can so much nonsense come out of your mouth. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think it's awesome that she's helping him so much. Oh my no, Kelly, stop. Stop. What? His career's about to like explode now too. Cause he's about to get so much publicity too. Because his career didn't explode when he was winning Super Bowls before? Did he win Super Bowls? No, oh, Kelly, stop. <laughs> stop. What? I didn't know his name until Taylor Swift was with him, so he's gonna have like a really good fan base now. Oh, Kelly, stop. No, don't say that. Say what? All of that. From the moment I walked through here until now. Don't ever repeat that again. You know, lots of people. First off, let me just say I'm sick and tired of the Kelsey Taylor Swift stuff. It was it was old like the first game. The first game and it, uh, enough. Stop. This is kind of funny though. It's kind of funny, kind of sad because there are a lot of Swifties out there who really think this. When the shower water is too hot. <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone does. Point of view, a UFO literally just pulled up and parked right next to you. Yeah, no one cares, right? What in the hell is she eating, by the way? And how is she eating it? Okay, see, no one cares about UFOs anymore. It's just... Rat? Oh, what I the? This <laughs> is that a rat? Oh, Why is there a rat? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that scared me. All right, hold on a sec. My that god. is a legit rat. What the hell? My god, oh my gosh! Oh my god. I, what did you play? Did you have a plan? After you got it in the net like that, you pinned it against the wall. What was your plan after that? That clearly didn't go well. That clearly didn't follow through. Jeez. Ugh. Watching women compete in the 2034 Olympics. What are they? They were once men. <laughs> Just love that scene. <sighs> we're trending that way, sadly. Scaring my husband. Jeez. Dude, that scared me. Dude, that was terrifying. All right, listen to this. If that was like 3 a.m., 2 a.m., he's just having a midnight snack, and you come in doing this, I would be terrified. Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> no, he's on. Got it on camera too. He's just like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. <clears throat> now he doesn't have his midnight snack. Look what you did. Well, what a nice surprise. I come back to my truck and look at this. That is awesome. I'm just kidding. I bought those for myself. I'm a fat piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah, you know, someone out there, I thought someone out there loved you, but yeah, you you love yourself, right? <laughs> We're gonna need all those men. <laughs> Millennials house shopping. Finally, some houses I can afford. Yeah, look, that one's got a loft in it. No, oh, that's hell what yeah. I'm talking about. Hell yeah, that's a halfie right there. All right, hell yeah. Get the peak, Perfect. Get the barn dominium. Barn dominium, you get about, well, let's see here, 200 square feet. You spend a little extra. Hell yeah. Living like a king, like bubbles, man. Point of view, you're a looter in California. 
Okay, guys, great job, Steven. Three cars in five minutes? You're a wild man. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Is that yours? No. Okay, can you put it back, please? Nah. <laughs> well, I've done all I can do. You have a good rest of your day. You too. Rude. Anyway, yes, yeah, see you in the back. <laughs> Where can I go to the bathroom? Uh, just pick a spot on the floor. Anywhere's fine. Sidewalk. Doesn't matter. Remember, guys, we got to smash dash so we can make that cash. 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 Very good. Oh, guys, I think I see a family of four on vacation. <laughs> Let's see what's inside their car, huh? All right. We are scum of the earth on three. One, One two. two. Uh, you know what's funny and sad about this is, guys, they just, they need the bread. They, they're doing it to get the bread for their families, just like AOC said. Um, what a great, wonderful, utopian place to live. It's not like they have other options, you know? It's not like they can go out and get a job and provide for their families that way. You know, it's just, come on. Your pronouns. Uh, my pronouns are they, them. I've actually got them tattooed on my neck. That's my credo. No regret. Mm-hmm. You have no regrets? No, no. way. <laughs> Not me. Getting them tattooed on your neck. That's, uh... What a great culture we have, folks. Amazing. Steve. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's all on a TikTok. Some kid did it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Steve. That's how we beat the AI. Don't let them, don't let them take over. Show them who's boss, starting right here at your local shop. Name something stupid that you spend entirely too much money on. I'll go first. Touch tunes. Look, I'm not saying that the reason that I'm a poor human being is because of touch tunes. I'm just saying if I could get back every penny I ever put in a jukebox right now, it would change my life dramatically. Dude, I love touch tunes. And I, I'm kind of there. I'd say yeah, well over several hundred dollars <laughs> into touch tunes. You can, they rank you. Like, you get a rank on how many times you've played a jukebox or a song on the jukebox. I think I'm I'm definitely in the hundreds. Yeah, I might be closer to a thousand songs played. I don't know what my actual title is. I think I'm like a, you know, rock star entertainer or something, radio DJ. So, anyone? Anyone got that beat? Is anyone here at the highest level on uh, touch tunes? Love that thing. Oh, right in the mommy daddy button. Ooh, this is from a few weeks ago. Look at this. Ooh, if you missed it, let's slow motion this. Ready? Go. Okay, it rolls out. Bam! <laughs> just, oh, at least he saved the camera. That wasn't like the last girl on the roller coaster. Uh, you know, that could have been even more spending. That's two, three thousand dollar bill right there. Ooh, hopefully he's all right. Right in the mommy daddy button. Oh, white people don't have any culture. They don't have any culture. Okay, have you ever been in a room full of Caucasians and you hear dun, dun, na, 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 na. Let's go girls. Okay, all right. She has a good point. If you've ever been to any Midwest bar, any wedding, and that comes on, Shania Twain feels like a woman, the the place erupts. Every woman in that that uh, bar it like turns a switch on. It's bizarre. Um, and if you have not seen that yet, I highly recommend you go, you get your touch tunes out, you play that song and see what happens. It's wild. I've seen it a thousand times. It's wild. And I'm not, I'm not lying. It's wild. My wife, please don't talk politics with my mom at dinner tonight. Me after two beers. You're the enemy. You're the scum. You're the <laughs> film. You're the murderers. You're going down. We're never <laughs> stopping. Hell or high water. We're going over the top and you're never going to stop us. You understand that? You're that's yeah. what I'm talking about. And that's what they're scared of is that spirit. And it is the spirit of 1776 and you need to ask God for it today. All right. Do, is this you? Do you, uh, you go into it thinking, all right, let's, let's just have a good weekend. Let's just, let's have a good night. Let's have a good dinner. And then bam, it's like, I, okay, I can't let that one slide. Sometimes you can't let it slide. Sometimes you have to say something back. You can't, like that was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And I can't have this person walking around thinking this without being checked just a little bit. Like someone has to check this idiot. And sometimes it has to be you, right? Am I right? No? <laughs> you're not marginalized. You're just annoying. All I want to do is be trans to be myself and to be treated like everyone else. No, you don't. You clearly want to be treated differently. Uh, no, that's not true. I just don't want to be hated for who I am. You're not hated for who you are. You're hated because you try to shove your shit down everyone's throat. Excuse me. Uh, yes? I'm trans or, or gay or cat or whatever. That's great. Good for you. But if you don't mind, I, I have my own life, my own problems. So I'm, I'm just going to focus okay, on Okay, but I'm, I'm, like, I'm like really brave, so. Good for you. 
Please just shut the f And there it is. There's a transphobia. You see, all I want to do is live my life. All I want to do is... What's this guy's name? I mean, this is pretty much everyone, right? Like, no one... For the most part, most people really don't care. It's just... Stop talking about it to me. I don't care. It's like, literally, it's everywhere. Your stupid, stupid narratives are everywhere, and I'm sick of it. it I don't I don't hate you at all. Just sh shut up for once. That's it. How about that? Walter keeps misgendering me. Look. No, no way, no way. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this. Hell no! Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, let's try again. I guess uh, we gotta stop AI because AI is is uh, bigoted, right? Is that how it works? Mm. <laughs> tough, tough break. Tough break. My husband tried to win us the game. These are always good ones. Yo, ooh, not bad. Punch it out. I gotta rip it. Rip it, rip it, buddy. Rip and rip. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what do you hit? No. No. No, All right, lesson, folks. We got a good lesson here today. That's a hell of a freaking pull, though. Don't drink and grip and rip. Don't drink and grip and rip because that's what happens. Perfect technique on the grip and rip, playing the Jenga, but uh, it's going to cost you now. <laughs> that is. <laughs> when the hell was this, by the way? Is that who's? Is that Gronk on the screen there? No. Oh, that's, uh, that's Baker Mayfield. It must have been recent. Okay, moving on. Hey, Justin Trudeau. It's me again. Hey, how you doing, man? I uh, just got off work. Uh, it's a Saturday, so it'll be overtime. I know you I know you, uh, you really like to tax the overtime, uh, right? Because the more you work, the more you should pay the government. That's <laughs> that's your logic, right? Or, <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you're having fun flying around. Uh, that's why we do works the weekends, so you can do that and make appearances where no one wants you and stuff like that. <laughs> like, while we were working, uh, you are pretending to work. Uh, yeah, so, like, someone like you would probably be fired from my job uh, just because uh, you just do random things that don't make sense. Uh, anyway, besides the point, I know for today I'll be having a delicious water soup, and uh, I'm pretty excited. I might put it outside to let it cool down a little bit, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Thanks, man. <laughs> Dude, who is this guy? That was really funny. Bo Boatger ten. Yeah, go, that's. Uh, I have to go check out his account. That's great. Canada. I, you know, I really feel bad for you. I do. Manitoba, Saskatchewan. I mean, there's a lot of great places in Western uh, Canada. Good places. Good places in Ottawa, right? Yes, Ottawa. Whatever. There's some good places. I'm not totally familiar with the map. You get to the east side there. It's a little sketchy. That's what, that's what gives you Justin Trudeau. That guy's nuts. So I feel bad for you guys. I hope you figure something out. To the sounds of five men versus the largest and fastest spider we had seen in our entire lives. Where is it? Did I say, did I not just say grow up? Get over your fear of freaking spiders, man. <laughs> All right, if I'm gonna be honest, like I might throw the shoe too. I'm not gonna scream like that, but <laughs> look at that thing, it's huge. What are you in freaking Australia, mate? Them, it must be nice to be an operator. Me, yeah it is, yeah it is. It looks cold as f out there. I better turn the heat up for them guys a little bit. <laughs> Hope y'all stay warm. Are you cold out there, little buddy? <laughs> you cold out there, little buddy? Dude, you're a dick. That's that's a dick move right there. <laughs> Lady with dementia finds out Joe Biden is president. Her reaction is priceless. His first name. Last name starts with a B. 
D. B. B. As in boy. I don't want to play this game. Okay. okay. What if I told you it was Joe Biden? What? Joe Biden. I laugh. <laughs> that is our president. Actually. <laughs> oh, poor USA. Poor USA. <laughs> At least she can laugh about it, right? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there, you know, if you have family that's, you know, they're suffering from dementia or Alzheimer's, this is a good way to get them a daily laugh. It is. You get the, that new revelation every single day. Although, afterwards, it's, you got to tiptoe that line because it's also a little depressing. At least she laughed about it. Opening Christmas presents in 2023, be like. What is this? What is this? Where's all the money? That's as good as money, sir. Those are IOUs. Go ahead and add it up. <laughs> Every cent's accounted for. Look. See this? That's a car. 275 thou. Might want to hang on to that one. <laughs> Classic movie. One of my favorites, Dumb and Dumber. Yes, classic scene. Love it. This is, yep, 2023. This is our Christmas. It is what it is, man. Sad. Me, when I'm driving and see a coexist sticker. <laughs> Lord, give me peace. <laughs> Dude, that's me. It's like, ah. Uh... Dealing with one of the idiots out there in the world. This is one of them. They're labeling themselves. Again, sometimes ignorance is bliss, but a lot of times it's not. Ignor those people, though, that ignorance is not bliss. Vikings fans right now enjoying the high right now before the team inevitably collapses. This is like a level of delusion that I can pull myself out of at any time, but I love to exist here. For a minute, like, I like to hang out here. That's the Minnesota sports fan motto. Just good enough to let you down. It's not like all these other teams where, oh, we haven't won in forever. Yeah, but you always suck. It's it's different when you're good and they give you hope. Because then if you get full of hope, then you can get dropped on your head. If you always suck, like the previous Lions years, everyone knows they're going to suck. Like, so what? why? There's no disappointment. Like, they suck. Next. I can't. I can't do it with this this Vikings crap. This gives me <laughs> This video's off the freaking rails, dude. <laughs> that joke is okay. You can share that video. That's Oh, man, I gotta see it again. This gives me. I'm offended. I'm offended on behalf of so many people out there. <laughs> ah, this is the wildest timing. Introducing Let's Hungry see. Jack's minis. Tasty little burgers that are so cute, they come in pairs. There's cheeseburger minis and Rodeo minis. And right now, you can get a mini plus small fries and a small Coke for just $4.95. Hungry Jack's makes it better. <laughs> oh. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Who thought this? Who's producing this show? You didn't think that maybe that was like not the time for that? To, you know. Juxtapose those those two things there? No? <laughs> De-shrinkflation reaction incoming. The filet of fish has shrunk by, I'd say, 20%. This is $3 worth of food. This hash brown, which I think used to be two for a dollar, is $3 worth of food. This, for reference, is a potato, which you can get four to five pounds of these for $3. Four dollars. Something doesn't seem right here. I'm still gonna eat it, but it's not right. Again, the White House told me that everything is perfect. All the prices are normal. They're going down, even though you're paying three dollars for a hash brown. 
Hoof. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, this is actually really depressing. Dude, this guy's the president. He does not look like he's in the same universe as us right now. <laughs> Who put the music on this? Oh, you're going to hell. <laughs> oh, all right. In all seriousness, I can't. I got to stop laughing here. This is not funny. This guy's... He holds the, the most powerful seat in the in the world. Oh, guys, 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 guys. That was really funny, whoever put that music to it. Uh, but shame on you. Come on. <laughs> Me waiting for my wife to get ready so we can go out to eat. <laughs> hey, that's true. Ladies, speed it up. Come on, chop, chop. The world's reaction when Gail Lewis told us she was leaving Walmart. Attention Walmart, this is Gail Lewis, 10 year associate, Morris, Illinois, 844, signing out, good night. <laughs> no, no Gail, no. <laughs> They had the dad in there. You guys remember the dad? Uh, can we do a clip of that? It's one of the best clips of all time. Internet Hall of Fame. And uh, Gail Lewis might be in the Internet Hall of Fame now too. If you don't know what this trend is, it's absolutely out of control. Gail, I salute you. Thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you don't have that kind of Subaru. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get stuck, isn't he? There it is. There it is. So, sir, sir, you don't have that kind of super. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. Dude, this happens every year. Even if you live in a place that gets snow all the time, every single winter, people do dumb things on the road. I don't understand. It's like they, they forget. The six months we don't have snow, they just forget about snow. And the snow comes and then they they do this stuff. There you go, he did it. Ah, now I have anxiety because we don't have much snow right now. And I know it's coming, it always does. And I know these people come with that. Grandma and Pickleball, she was fine. There you go. Oh, oh Granny! You all right, Nana? That wasn't even like a trick shot. What happened? Dude, she just snapped her leg and fell over. Watch this. Ah! You know what? I, I gotta say it. Pickleball is a problem. It genuinely is a problem. I didn't think it was a problem, but I think it's a problem now. It, and now, why is it so popular? Like, it used to be a gym class game. You'd play that in gym class, and now every freaking retirement home in the nation has a pickleball court and a pickleball tournament. There's Tom Brady has a pickleball team now, like a professional pickleball team. I don't understand what is going on with this, dude. Grandmas are getting hurt. We got to stop this. When I look in the mirror and realize all the little Debbie snacks I ate this year turned me into a big Deborah. That's funny. Get it? You eat a bunch of little Debbies, you turn into a big Debbie. Because <laughs> you get fat. That's funny. <laughs> I actually like that joke. When your Republican uncle comes for Christmas. Holy shit, I got a good <laughs> That's a good uncle right there. That's what I'm talking about. Teach him right. It's a nerf. Folks, relax. Water nerf. Get out of here. All right. Oh, I know most of you don't care. Most of you probably support that. Relax. Are you freaking out? 